I don't know if you've ever heard me say the word heirloom, but it's the name of a software that the Market Gardener Institute has just launched. It's epic. It's three years in the making. It's a really robust and complete crop planning software. And today I want to show you what it is. So Heirloom is now alive. Wow. My God, it's three years in the works to create this uh, project, but it's amazing. It's amazing and it's going to get even better with time. But just quickly to have a first glance at it, if you open uh, your Heirloom software, the first thing that you'll see is your dashboard. And I'm not gonna go over everything today, but I just wanna show you the quick things. And you'll see some of the insights that are built in that is really helpful already. So this is uh, crop planning that I'm about three quarter done with the old mill and the market garden that we have here for the restaurant. So there's a lot of crops that are selected, a lot of crops that are already uh, placed in the garden. And the first thing that you see is the number of planting and the estimated revenue and the tasks that go with that. So just seeing that, what's great is that every time you plant something, it comes with a trail a trail of other chores and tasks that are there, and then eventually you can have an overview of everything that's going on. First thing that I see is that my there's a spike in revenue in August, September, and October, which isn't that extraordinary in itself, but it's a pretty steep spike. That's my first indicator that perhaps I could kind of lower the curve. You see all my bed occupancy by month, okay, which is really great. And then that's all the crop distribution you see to the right. So that's kind of the, the, the first dashboard that you'll see when you open it, okay? Uh, when you're actually doing the planting, the first thing that you'll do is select all your crops. And when you select a crop, let's say I'm selecting asparagus, uh, you'll also have, in many uh, instances, you'll have different cultivars that you can choose from, okay? And we're gonna be adding a lot of cultivars uh, with time. This is the beta version, so we're kind of just launching it so that people can use it and get give us feedback. But that's where you'll select your crops. And eventually, and then the next step is that for each crop, you'll determine your sequence. Do I want this crop to be planted once, twice, every second week, every third week, you know, spring and fall? You decide that, but then you have a visual that allows you to see when the crop is planted, when it's transplanted, when it's harvested. This is all kind of pre-programmed with numbers that you can change if you have a different, different specs for your crops, but that gives you a program for all of your crops. So the reason why we have this here is to make sure that everything just falls in the right order so that you have harvest, continual harvests, and that you're never having holes in the garden. So that allows you to make sure that you have, again, continuous supplies of many crops, okay? And it's a really neat visual. So let's say I click here. Okay, so again, we're with artichokes. Then you have your planting dates and you can edit it. You can, you, you, you can change the cultivar, you can change the spacing, uh, but it's all pre-populated with the information that we have from the masterclass. So that's really cool. Uh, you can decide to put it uh, in, in the caterpillar, in the high tunnel, in the greenhouse. So there's a lot of neat features with the planting. Then there's obviously the row spacing, just talked about it. If you change the row spacing, let's say I change it here, and I decide to grow it on two rows, which is possible with artichokes. So two rows, let's say two rows every 24. Um, every 20, every 18. So you see the spacing here. Okay, spacing between the rows. Oh, that's why it did that. So that would be 10. And then I go, let's say, two every 20, every 28. It just changes the spacing. And then it's gonna change a lot of the data that you'll have with regards to yield. It's gonna automatically change you know, let's say your transplant numbers according to how many beds you want to make because you changed the spacing. So the fact that it's all synced really is helpful in that way. So you don't need to be looking at numbers, making any mistakes. 
And again, that's, that's something that we take for granted, but it's really cool that it's all integrated. Then, you know, once you have your game plan, you've selected your crop, you have your program of what you're going to be growing in sequence, then you have your map. And the crop map is, in my opinion, the best tool here. And I haven't done, I haven't finished mine, but what it is, is that you'll have all your beds and you see them from an aerial view uh, with uh, space and uh, time and space. Space and time, space and time. So that allows you to move your crop around and decide that this planting will go there, this planting, oh, I'll put it here. So all your crops are groups in number of beds and they all have a start end and a finished end that you can adjust. But it's, it's again, it's pre-populated with the information that we have from a masterclass. And now the work is to make sure that all the crops that you have <coughs> Uh, need fit in okay so you have all your plantains to the right here artichokes basil beets whatever and then what you're doing is that you're putting these plantings into the garden and what that does that's really the game changer is that it allows you to optimize all your plantings to find them the sweet spot in the garden make sure that you can grow everything and that there's a timely fashion to everything that happens in the garden the beta version doesn't have this, but the next one coming up will have AI uh, helping you figure out the best puzzle to maximize space in your garden, considering different uh, assignments that you'll give him. I want to have three years between this crop because it's in the allium family. I want to have, you know, before carrots, I want to have four weeks of, uh, you know, tarping. You can add all these variables and then it's going to figure out uh, for you what's the best configuration for your season. That's going to be really epic. I'm really looking forward to that. But quickly, if I, if I scroll down, uh, you know, once you have all your plantings and you've determined how many beds you'll be growing of what, then the next, uh, that automatically calculates the number of seeds that you'll be needing, which saves you a lot of time. And then you can shop around with specific numbers. Um, eventually, you'll be able to order seeds directly from it, but we're not there yet. But it's a great way to just make sure that you have exactly the seeds you need, not more, not less, and then you'll save on orders. And if you're with the master class, a lot of the seed companies, we have discounts. So if you have a big volume of a seed order, you have 10, 15% discount. That's a great way to save money. So that's exciting. And then the last, uh, the last part is the tasks. So for all of your crops, let's say you're planting basil, then it needs to be started in the nursery. It needs to be, it needs to be there for a certain amount of time. Then it needs to be transplanted. Then it's going to be harvest. You might want to put an insect net over it at one point. Uh, let's say you're growing broccolis. You might want to apply boron every three weeks after the planting. So all of these things, they're pre-populated for each of the crops that you grow. And that gives you a weekly task list of everything that needs to be uh, seeded in the nursery, everything that needs to be direct seeded in the garden, everything that needs to be transplanted. You have a list of to-dos for that week. And that really is the game changer also because it allows you to just take something that's super complex, breaks it down into to-do list for the week, for the day, for the month. And we've also added the feature that anything that you want to uh, addition to a crop, let's say boron on your broccolis, it's going to go in your to-do list. Okay, so there's a, you have the visual for the whole list, then you have a visual of the week list, and then you can move your chores around in your weekly list to, to organize your week according to weather, according to, you know, if it's a harvest day, so that's really how to do it. And that's how I've been doing it for all these years. That to that feature, the task list, again, that's another big part of Heirloom. Uh, and then lastly, you'll have a workload graph. And the workload graph is really, really, really handy. That's something that I developed over the years because I was always finding myself in situation where 
there's just too many things to do in a given week. And sometimes this can be just kind of declined either before or after. And, and just that's, that's a visual of I have a few weeks in, in that my year that there's too many things going on. So you can change some of these plantings or you could decide to prepare in advance and hire people for these weeks. But at least you know everything that's going on according to your plan in a weekly workload graph. So that's, for me, that's something that's really, really useful. So that's there uh, in the beta version. Then, you know, what we're seeing here is the map. Uh, the farm map is taken from Google map. That's, that's, that's your farm. You draw your field blocks, you draw your beds here. You can create locations, you can add blocks, change blocks, put greenhouses. You can really design your farm uh, on this part of the software. So that's really great. And then you have your charts. You have all your direct seeding charts. They're all there. Transplant charts. They're all there. You know, it's good that you take your numbers and put them in, but you also have those of the masterclass that are built in that you can, you know, write over if needs be. Nursery chart. It's there. And there's a lot of information in this for all of the crops. And uh, there's also crop yields. So, you know, obviously crop yield is very important because that's how you plan your season. So all in all, it's just a complete, uh, it's the most complete uh, software for crop planning. And we're really excited about it. And I hope you'll be excited about it too.